I'm told that a comedian once said, I don't want to know when I'm going to die. I just want to know where. Because I'm going to stay as far away from that place as possible. Hello, Father Kubicki here. And you know, today, Ash Wednesday, the church puts the reality of death right in our face. Actually, on our foreheads. As we begin the holy season of Lent, we go to church and receive ashes on our foreheads. They're not only a sign of repentance, but also a reminder of death, a reality that more and more people in our contemporary world want to even avoid thinking about. And yet, it's part of everyone's life. It's the end of our lives on earth, but not the end of our lives. We believe that there is life after death, that our spirit or soul will continue in existence, and that one day the physical part of ourselves, our bodies, will be resurrected just as Jesus was. We begin Lent thinking about our end, both the end of this life on earth and our ultimate end or goal of eternal life with God. We think about that because the thought of it can help us on our journey through life. Every journey has an end point, unless you're just going round and round in circles. And keeping the end point or destination in mind is the best way to make sure that as you travel, you'll arrive at your goal. As we begin Lent, we pause to take stock of ourselves, our lives. Are we headed in the right direction? Is the path I'm on, are the decisions I'm making helping me move in the right direction toward my ultimate goal? Or are there some things that are distracting me and getting me off track? These are the things that we want to let go of this Lent and always, because none of us knows when or where we're going to die. And we want to be ready 